Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Josh.GamingTV video. It's been a while since I've actually made a legitimate video. Uh, this is Burly Men at Sea. It was a free PlayStation game a few months ago, and I've this is literally my first time playing it. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. It's a map. Useless sheet chart grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, eh? I am yeah. Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Let's head this way. Let's go talk to Flute Boy. No, talk to Flute Boy. A seed chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him with these landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Is this the coffee shop, or is this the coffee shop? I don't think this is the coffee shop. Okay, he said next door, so maybe here? Yeah, I think this is it. I really like the music. It's peaceful. You'll, you'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. and approaches with a steeping, steaming tray. Single origin espresso. Roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly. He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing. Relax. Oh, he sighs. Coffee. Relaxing. The men sit cautiously. Eyes widen. Now what have ye found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation. That's all. Folks comes in with Folks come in with questions, and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steady Beard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm, seems what ye have here is the variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic, heroic feats. Aye, Brave Beard leaps from his seat to pound Steady Beard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. He turns to walk away. Oh there, what sort of tales, calls Brave Beard? That depends, replies the old man. On um, what sort ye choose, he crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. <coughs> Steady Beard coughs awkwardly. Neat. 
Guess we'll be going then. Er, thanks for the espresso? He tries. There's no answer. Let's see what's on the other side of the town. Lots of houses. Okay, it's just done. We'll try in here. Okay, it looks like a blacksmith. I like how all the sounds are made. Like, ching. Yeah, I like it. Let's talk to the blacksmith. The man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. See, we found this map at our nest this morning, and... And do you happen to know anything about the unknown? Our heroic feats and tales and such, adds Brave Beard, hopefully. There's a brief pause as the man start, stops hammering. He grunts. They wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Okay. Let's head back out. We'll try the other house. Okay, yeah, I was about to say there was one right over here. This one's like a bakery. It's a little old baby. Hello, lady. Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you, fellas? Steady beard prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by hasty beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds, heroic feats, maps? Adds brave beard. Mystery? The loaf-shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery it is. I'm afraid I'm not that imaginative type, boys. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. Hmm. Well, let's head back down. Into the boat, maybe we can go adventuring somewhere. <laughs> sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. Mischief away! Grin. Fuck. Voice crack. God fucking damn it! Mischief away! Grins Brave Beard, losing the sails. Oh shit, it's fucking. Mo. Moody Dick. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. The fuck is this? Trophy earned, great barnacled one. Oh? Join us, friends. From whence do you come? asks one of the nymphs. 
We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explained Steady Beard. It's really very discouraging. A man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors, adds Brave Beard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises a second nymph. The others exchange, exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that remark, comments Hasty Beard. But if you'll advise us on how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly towards what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great barnacled one reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship, or wait for the creature to open his maw? The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the Great One's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Brave Beard's face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. With all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love, you must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it! Interrupts Hasty Beard, grabbing a torch from the fire below them. There's the boat. Some barrels. Ooh, what's in the barrels? A few barrels left empty by the morning's interrupted work now float free beside the boat. The men consider them in the torchlight. If we were the puzzle solving sort, observes Hasty Beard, I'd call that a solution. Aye, they'll float, not Steady Beard, but not so well as our ship. Brave Beard scoffs. What are we, la landsmen? Landsmen? Arms and legs float well enough. Okay, let's get in these. Now, where's that hatch? Is it this? The eye? Oh, I guess that's an actual hatch. <laughs> Well, there's the uvula. Let's fucking grab onto it. Hasty Beard is fire with excitement. Summon that fountain and let's be off. Brave Beard grumbles. Elo eloquent. He grumbles from his barrel. Steady Beard looks worried. Let's head off. Okay, I guess we can't go that way. Let's go this way then. Swim, boys. Tiring, the barrel-clothed men settle back to drift of the current. May as well see where this takes us, observed Steady Beard bleakly. Time passes. Bravebeard begins to snore rock begins to snore from behind. Time passes. Ship ahead. The shout wakens Brave Beard, who eagerly overturns his barrel. Reserve the same moment later to cough out. It begins! Uh oh. What the devilry explains, exclaims Hasty Beard. Is that death? <laughs> the fuck? The grim, cloaked figure clears his throat as he approaches. 
Greetings. Please climb aboard for your complimentary trip to the afterlife. Ah, well, reply Studybeard. Thank you, but we prefer the long way. There's a long silence. The figure is masked, but the men feel distinctly that he is sulking. At last, he heaves a desolate sigh. You do not willingly forfeit your souls, he pleads. It is quite painless, and I would be last to promote... Be will at last be promoted from this apprentice issue rowboat. Another silence follows. Then, he continues despairingly, there must be a race. At this, Hasty Beard's face cheers significantly. Maybe you would be so kind as to lose. No, of course not, he sighs again deeply. We race through the cliffs of despair, he explained mourningly. Explains mourningly. If the three of you pass me at any point, I lose. If I take the lead, however, Unlikely, I don't lose. Meaning, you win? I had not thought of it that way, but I suppose that would be the case. Yes. Without waiting to confirm, Hasty Beard sets off, paddling furiously. Yo, he's cheating. Really very sorry for scuttling your promotion and all that, offer Steady Beard. It's not so bad, tries, bra tries Brave Beard. You have a boat and that nice scary mask. I do have a nice mask, sniffs the muffled voice. Great. Well, goodbye, calls Hasty Beard, paddling away. The others join him. Start heading this way. What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit, the sun's setting. After a time, the men begin to notice something strange about the setting sun. Its course seems to be drifting gradually left. Never seen the sun move like that, Brave Beard musses out loud. What's it up to? Steady Beard looks worried. I have a feeling it's more serious than a wayward sun. Did you notice the wind? Can't seem to make up its mind. Aye, far worse, replies Hasty Beard. It's a current we're caught in. And a mischief, mischief, mischievous one, by the, my reckoning, added Steady Beard, his voice growing more tense. We're drifting in a circle and faster by the minute. Brave Beard show names the, their fear. Maelstrom! From high above, the water's accelerating swirl is unmistakable. The men paddle furiously, but the widening vortex is inescapable. They are carried deeper, thrown against the rising wall of water. No, oh, can I stop it? Uh oh, that just makes it go quicker. You like this? There. Oh, damn it. Collapsing the maelstrom tosses the men in their barrels towards the surface. Okay, so I saved them. 
I think. I hope so. I want my Let's Play to be done already. Well, let's start swimming again. Travelers, the voice is deep, musical. Er, hello, stammers Bravebeard, wonder apparent on his face. You've seen much this day, she continues, smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all, she peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any true vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea she was. The silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path, inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. Her words seem to linger, leaving them quiet as they drift in drift on in the fog. Guys, take the barrels aboard. Well, before we go any further ahead, I think that's gonna do it for today's uh, video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you'd like to see more, comment down below. Leave a like on this video, and remember to like that subscribe button. Subscribe if you like. Hit the bell to turn on notifications for every time I upload a shitty video. It's Josh.GamingTV, signing out. See you later.